The idea is now that we can extend trust beyond the boundaries of what we could usually do. Imagine you have a friend. You sit with your friend and you talk to them, and you get to know that person. That's human beings trusting each other. You might like that person, it might work out, it might not, but you have control and you can really have a genuine expectation of getting to know somebody at that level. Another person comes in and now you have two people, you've got to split your time a bit, get to know them both, that's okay. Maybe a third person comes in, you know, another, another person in the group is now getting to four, then it gets to five. You're splitting up your attention. There's an interesting book by a chap called Malcolm Gladwell called The Tipping Point which describes this process can extend with human beings as we know it based on the size of our brain, the part of our brain that we are able as human beings to ma have maximum group sizes of 150. That's the level at which you can have a meaningful-ish relationship with those people that you can get together and get things done. 150 people is the maximum size of human groups and they've proven this in fact, so much so that our very clever friends in the military, the ones who invented the internet, the ones who do things this way, because by the way, all of this decentralization stuff, very present with them, they organized their platoons to be, guess what, no bigger than 150, 200 people, because they know that after that point, it breaks down. So decentralization begins to return power back to people. And it does that by simply allowing you more options, more information, and a sort of guarantee that when you can't trust someone that's distant, the technology will help you there. 